a recap in the prior video. We talked about building business credit using business vendors. These are certain vendors who allow you to uh, purchase products from them, sometimes even services, and be able to pay them back in 30 days, 45 days, even up to 60 days. These vendors are extremely um, new business uh, friendly, so they understand they are used to having new businesses that just start contact them and want to open up vendor accounts. So now, once you have that first layer of uh, business vendors, those vendors are reporting to your credit. You now have a business credit score. You want to make sure that you have your business credit score and you have a rating you're being and you're monitoring your business credit score because once that hits and it's acceptable, you can now move on to tier two business credit. It took about uh, 60 to 90 days uh, before I could see that business credit reporting. And I'm going to talk about the reporting. Uh, I'm going to talk about how to check your business credit, what, um, how do you monitor your business credit so that you can um, start stalking it right away to make sure that those accounts are um, are reporting to the credit agencies. Be able to see how long it takes for your payment to post. You'll be able to see what it is that they're reporting and you'll be able to see your rating. That way you can determine how you move forward with building out that first uh, layer of business credit. Once you have that, you are ready to go. Tier two credit is uh, somewhat of an advancement of tier one. It just allows you maybe a higher credit limit. So you may start out in tier one with 300, 500, even a thousand. Whereas in tier two credit, they may extend to you 2,000, 5,000, ten thousand dollars really depending on the nature of your business depending on how many tier one accounts you already have open and they are reporting in a positive manner yes uh, some financial institutions will require you to provide your social security number in order to spot check your credit to see if you are credit worthy as you move into tier two credit Tier two credits are companies like uh, Home Depot, uh, Staples, Office Max. These are credit cards that are at a specific store that you can go to the Capital One, Chase, um, just to name a few. Actually have a BP credit card that is, I believe the bank is American Express and that credit card is for $3,500. I received this business credit card with having only uh, three to four business vendors posted, then uh, re reporting to my account. My business credit rating was an A. Um, my business credit is pretty good. Of course it's great, you know, I probably only have five to $600 worth of vendor credit and it's showing that I'm paying on time. So it's really not about how much it is, but more so are you doing what you say you're going to do. If they extended to you $100 in store credit and they say, hey, pay this in 30 days and you paid it within 30 days, cha-ching, <laughs> yay. That's 100 for you. That's an A. Just follow the rules. Do as they say. The accounts will report and you'll be on your way to building out 100 200 $300 worth of credit lines, establishing relationships with financial institutions across the board. These are financial tools that any and every business should have and they do have it in the event that they need. You may never need a gas card, which is great, but something may happen. You may find yourself out on the road. Something may happen. A truck may break down. You never know if that driver has a business credit card on them that can work through the problem quickly. That is going to make a huge difference in your business, especially when time is of the essence.